Am I the arsehole? For banning my son's mom from a memorial? My ex-wife Diana have three boys who are 16, 12 and 10. We divorced pretty much after the youngest was born. We also both remarried. She married Christopher and got a divorce last year after seven years of marriage. I'm still happily married to my wife Jessica. Christopher and my boys were pretty close and they were bummed when the divorce happened. I always got along with the dude. A few months after the divorce, Christopher disclosed that the divorce was over his being diagnosed over adenocarcinoma and Diana not wanting to be his nursemaid or responsible for his medical bills. Checks out. He told me this because he wanted to leave whatever he had to my kids. Unfortunately, he had no family of his own. Obviously I said of course and signed paperwork. A few months ago, I got a call from a social worker saying that Christopher was a few months from dying and unable to care for himself. He gave her my number. Basically they needed someone to help with end of life. He had made me his power of attorney. He was living in a county hospice and my wife and I moved him into our home because he deserved to live his final days in dignity. It also taught my kids about compassion. Unfortunately he died after two weeks. He was cremated a few days ago and me, my wife, my kids and a few of our friends are planning to spread his ashes at the beach this weekend. Diana asked if she could attend and I told her to kick rocks. She wanted nothing to do with him when he was dying. I'm not saying Christopher was a burden but that's really sad that this dude had to reach out to his ex-wife's first husband like he did. It was clearly more her responsibility. I said she can't sit there and let us do all the hard work so she can come in at the end as the grieving widow. My older son thinks I should let her come and I told him to mind his own business and mouth. I'm not going to sugarcoat your mom for you. Your mom is a witch and will be treated the same way she treated your stepdad. Not the asshole for banning her, but you're the asshole for how you spoke to your son. Not the asshole obviously. I don't understand how things like this can happen it's like too bad to be real. Info did Christopher express any thoughts about his ex being at the funeral? My older son thinks I should let her come and I told him to mind his own business and mouth. I was not the asshole until this. That was a shitty thing to say. Not the asshole, the rocks do need kicking. At least someone was there for Christopher. Not the asshole. She can mourn another way, but not with you and your family. ESH your ex-wife is for sure an A but the way you talk to your son regarding his mother makes you an A as well. You're the asshole. Don't demean your children. They have voices and opinions too. Your ex-wife doesn't deserve to be at the memorial, but your son doesn't deserve to be talked down to like that either. You're the asshole for how you talked to your son. You're a good dude all around. My older son thinks I should let her come and I told him to mind his own business and mouth. You're the asshole for talking to your son like this. He is mourning, too. Stuff like this can destroy relationships and trust. But if for writing a completely fictional post. You weren't an asshole until you talked to your grieving child like that. And it is his business. You only even know the man because he was your kid's stepdad. Esh, you should not have handled it that way with your son. He deserves understanding and compassion, not your anger second hand. Not the asshole for the majority of the scenario, you're the asshole for how you spoke to your son assuming you said what you wrote. You're the asshole for how you spoke to your son and your ridiculous comments you made in response to others. Something is telling me that you aren't telling us the whole truth on how you treat your sons. You're the asshole for treating your son like that. Not the asshole. Sixteen is plenty old enough to know the difference between right and wrong. Showing him how you treat disgusting people and set boundaries to keep them away is a good lesson. You are a bloody good bloke for taking old mate in. ESH. Your son wanted her there, no matter how you or I feel about her. You were off the rails to speak to him that way. He's a person with feelings, too. 
You're the asshole for calling your son's mother names in front of him. He knows that she did a bad thing but his relationship with her is complicated. You will have a better relationship with him if you stay out of it. Your mom is a witch and will be treated the same way she treated your stepdad. You had me until this comment. I am a witch and would never treat anyone the way your ex did. Man up and call her a bitch. Dude. You were doing such a good job modeling compassion and decency for your kids. Then you went and treated your son like his feelings don't matter when honoring the life of his stepfather. Not the asshole but you're towing the line with that last part. Don't badmouth your ex in front of your kids. They'll end up resenting you for it someday. Wow. Poor Christopher for marrying someone someone so cold. Not the asshole and your compassion is commendable. As harsh and sad as it is not the asshole. She can visit the grave when you're all gone. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She made her choice and must live with it. You and your wife made a selfless decision and deserve to say goodbye without drama. How helpless he must have been to reach out to ex-wife's ex-husband. You and your wife are saints for dignity you gave him at the end of his life. Not the asshole. Keep that witch away. Giant asshole. Who put you in charge of who can pay their respects? Not the asshole for any of it. You and your wife are saints. Not the asshole but going off on your son wasn't okay. What he asked of you was an innocent request, you could have politely declined it rather than resorting to name calling. Not the asshole. She doesn't deserve to be there. She's clearly a shit person and only wants to look good, she doesn't actually care. Sh, your ex-wife for well, everything she did, but also you for talking to your grieving son in that way. Christopher and Diana were half of your kid's set of parents for a long time it makes sense that your kid would want his mom there. Sh, your ex-wife is obviously an R. But so are you who talks to their kids about their mother that way? And tells them to shut up and mind their own business? It's his mom it is his business. Your ex is a monster and you're a jerk. Jesus Christ, what an ass hat thing to say to your kid. You're the asshole. How dare you talk to your son like that? Sounds like you are actually the witch. I was with you until the last paragraph. You're the asshole. Man, I have a hunch, based on how you talked to your son about her, that what you did for Christopher wasn't out of genuine compassion but just to spite your ex in some way. It seems ludicrous sure, but people have done worse things. You're the asshole, it's a memorial, stop bringing family politics in it and let people grieve. People make shitty decisions all the time, just like what you're doing now. Be the bigger person. Yeah. Christopher taught your children compassion. It's time for you to teach them forgiving. They know what a witch she was. You don't need to stoop to her level. Clearly you and your current wife are wonderful people. Don't stoop. Not the asshole she is a heartless piece of trash and the sooner your kids see that the better. Not the asshole.